Protactinium is a chemical element with the symbol Pa and atomic number 91. It is a highly radioactive metal that belongs to the actinite series of elements. Protactinium was first discovered in 1913 by Casimir Fagens and Oswald Helmuth Göring, who isolated it from uranium ore. The name Protactinium is derived from the Greek word protos, meaning first, as it was one of the first elements discovered that followed uranium in the periodic table. Before starting the video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more engaging videos like this. Protactinium has a fascinating history intertwined with the development of nuclear science and our understanding of radioactive elements. Its discovery marked a significant milestone in the study of radioactivity and the behavior of heavy elements. This element's properties, applications, and relevance in modern science and technology are subjects of ongoing research and interest. One of the distinctive properties of protactinium is its high radioactivity. It exists in several isotopic forms, with protactinium-231 being the most stable isotope. Protactinium-231 has a half-life of about 32,760 years, decaying into actinium-227 through alpha decay. This long half-life makes protactinium-231 valuable for dating geological samples, particularly those dating back tens of thousands of years. The decay chain of protactinium also includes other isotopes, each with its own unique properties and potential applications. In terms of its physical properties, protactinium is a dense silvery-gray metal that tarnishes when exposed to air. It is highly reactive, especially with oxygen, water, and acids. Due to its scarcity and radioactivity, protactinium is not used extensively in commercial applications. However, it has some niche uses and is of interest in scientific research. One area where protactinium finds application is in nuclear reactors and research involving nuclear energy. Protactinium-233, a radioactive isotope of protactinium, can be used as a precursor for the production of fissile uranium-233 in breeder reactors. Uranium-233 is a potential nuclear fuel and its production from protactinium-233 offers a pathway for fuel generation in certain reactor designs. This aspect of protactinium's behavior in nuclear systems is critical for understanding reactor dynamics and fuel cycles. Protactinium also has significance in the field of geochemistry and geochronology. Its presence and isotopic ratios in geological samples can provide insights into the age and history of rocks and minerals. By measuring the concentrations of protactinium isotopes and their decay products, scientists can reconstruct past environmental conditions and geological processes. This application has implications for studying Earth's history, climate change, and the evolution of geological formations. Furthermore, protactinium has been studied for its chemical properties and behavior in various environments. Its complex chemistry, especially in aqueous solutions and with ligands, contributes to our understanding of actinite chemistry and the behavior of radionuclides in natural and engineered systems. Researchers investigate protactinium's interactions with organic and inorganic compounds, its solubility in different media, and its role in environmental transport processes. Despite these scientific and potential technological applications, protactinium remains a rare and challenging element to work with due to its radioactivity and limited availability. Research efforts continue to explore its properties, behaviors, and potential uses, particularly in the context of nuclear science, environmental studies, and material science. Advances in analytical techniques, computational modeling, and experimental methods contribute to a deeper understanding of protactinium's role in the natural world and its implications for human activities. In conclusion, protactinium occupies a unique place in the periodic table and in scientific inquiry. Its discovery and subsequent research have broadened our knowledge of nuclear phenomena, geochemical processes, and the behavior of heavy elements. If you found this video informative, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more engaging videos like this.